like a man choked to death killed by those called to serve and protect we all saw it there's nothing to debate all the evidence was on the table I can't breathe we all heard him say still the grand jury saw things the other way now as a black man what am I supposed to do if a cop stops me does that mean that I'll be killed too land of the free home of the brave but why does it feel like i'm still a slave but i still have hope hope for a better day a day we're not judged by our color tell me will things ever change Oh, 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 a black man under arrest A spinal cord injury, cause of death Now violence and looting, that's not the way to go But when will cops who break the law be held accountable I need to know oh, land of the free home of the brave but why does it feel like I'm still a slave but I still have hope hope for a better day a day we're not judged by our color Tell me will things ever change Oh, black lives matter It should, it should not matter oh, The color of your skin Or the class that you're in Something is wrong What's going on? Land of the free Home of the brave But why does it feel like I'm still a slave But I still have hope Hope for a better day A day we're not judged by our color Tell me will things ever change? <laughs> Trinity, that is Kavan Carter. We praise God for this brother who is an absolute gift. This is his original composition entitled, I Can't Breathe. I think that we ought to just thank God for a brother, for a black man writing such conscious material, theologically sound, sociologically correct. We praise God for this gift. Brother Kavan Carter.
It's been, we've been playing that all day. And at every service, everyone is deeply moved. And the Spirit of God was certainly upon him when he wrote that song. And we just thank God. And as I said before, talking with several other people in this day and age, uh, where many uh, gospel artists, uh, they can write songs about prosperity and praise, uh, but they are unable to write songs about what is happening in our community today. And it's great to have a musician that serves here with a social justice consciousness to be able to write music that fits with the times and is theologically sound.